Hello and welcome to another episode of the 546 Project Video Food Box. And it has arrived. Wendy's has now started serving breakfast and we got a couple of their items. Uh, pretty hyped about this. We got three different items. This is the um, this is the maple bacon chicken croissant. This is the big one, the breakfast baconator, and then that's the frosty chino. That's the vanilla variety. So, what do we start with first? I don't really know. I think we're gonna go with the bacon, the, the maple bacon chicken croissant. Now, we did review this on our channel before or something pretty similar and you can you can go to that uh, on the top right of your screen but they decided to serve this for breakfast and I don't know if it looks different it, the picture looked like it was at least a little different but open it up and see what we got it is a little different only because it's um, it's a square instead of well it actually looks like a rectangle instead of the circle that they had and we got the chicken on there and we got the bacon and they're supposed to have some kind of maple yeah yep, there, there it is there's that the glaze i guess that maple butter that's on there now if i'm not mistaken the chicken sandwich had swiss cheese this doesn't have any cheese which may not be a bad thing um, as I lick my finger because I could smell I could smell the maple through the bag coming home when I got it to go that's how that's how prominent this this smell of this sandwich was but it's all about the taste I'm gonna do that right now well this first one is a smash hit I will tell you Everything that seemed to be wrong with the one that they had before for lunch and dinner, this one got right. I like the I like the croissant the croissant a little better. Uh, that that maple butter really hits home. Uh, if they had cheese, it would be I think it'd be all right. But I think as it is right now. This is as close to perfection as you're going to get. Um, I can't really say anything bad about this sandwich. I mean, other than the fact that it leaves a little bit of a film on your on your fingers, but I mean, it's it's a croissant. It's going to do that. But let me take another bite to confirm everything that I told you just a little bit ago. Yep, that's that's definitely a very good sandwich, and their bacon is their bacon does not have any issues with it crispy and it's it, it's good if you hear that crunch yep that's that's what you get on the sandwich it's it's excellent I will say that but we're gonna move on to something else because I don't want any one sandwich to take precedent um, we might save that one for last on this. We're gonna go with this new Frosty Chino, the vanilla version, and I got a large. Plenty of ice as a drive through special from Wendy's. You get plenty of ice, and I really don't like ice that much, but this is iced coffee, and that's what they do with any iced coffees you get. They just give you a ton of ice. Let's take a let's take a taste of the Wendy's Frosty Chino vanilla version. That is, I'll say this, definitely different from any drink that I've had. I don't really know if they actually do put the Frosty in this. I mean, there's stuff at the bottom, but it it legitimately tastes like one of their Frosties. If I had the chocolate one, it probably tastes like the chocolate, but. They did a really good job with this one. I'm gonna take another drink. That really tastes like frog. However, doesn't taste like a lot like a vanilla so much. I may, I, it seems like I got a hint of chocolate, but I definitely got the vanilla. If it, if it was the chocolate, it would be, it would be much darker than this. Uh, but uh, the taste itself is, it's good. 
I like this one a lot. And now for the main event. It is not a hamburger, it is a breakfast baconator. They give you sausage, they give you plenty of bacon, cheese, and Swiss cheese sauce, and it's on their, it's on their regular bun that they have for lunch and dinner. If I'm not mistaken, yep, it is. And the egg, forgot about the egg, can't forget about the egg. And there it is, there's the breakfast baconator in all of its glory. If I open it up, you don't, you, I, I think there's another layer of bacon, but they only put half. <laughs> they only put it on one side. And if I open it up, there's, it looks like there's more bacon up there. Yep. Oh, it is plenty of bacon. Just, if I wouldn't have opened it up, I wouldn't have been as disappointed. Now their sausage is in their square form, their, their regular square form that they're known for their hamburgers. But enough with me talking. It's time to eat this thing, and that's what I'm going to do right now. That is definitely a hearty sandwich. I will say that. And you get a lot of the spice from the sausage. I mean, it's pretty prominent. It's a very, it is very sausage, regular sausage spice, but it's spicier, it seems like, than your normal type of sausage. I still taste a little bit of the spice there. But the bake, uh, I think just because of the cheese and the sauce, the bacon isn't as crispy as it is with the maple uh, bacon chicken croissant. It's still good though. That egg is, it's decent. Um, the Swiss cheese sauce, it's not too bad. Um, let me take another bite. I'd say the Swiss cheese sauce adds a nice element to it. it kind of ties everything together. It's a thick sauce. Um, that sausage is definitely prominent in this though. You get a lot of the spice from the sausage. Um, so if you don't like a very prominent sausage spice, this may not be for you or any of their other sausage breakfast sandwiches because I feel like any of them may be pretty sausage heavy as far as the taste. So if you don't like that, get the bacon ones. And now it's time for the number score for each of these items and then a collective number score for the Wendy's breakfast all together that I got. Start with the, uh, start with the, ba the, start with the chicken croissant, the one with the bacon, the bacon and the maple. And I can't say enough good things about it. It's an excellent sandwich. It's a very, I feel like it's a unique sandwich just with the elements that it brings to the table. Uh, so as far as a number score, I'm actually going to give this one a 9.5. It's almost perfect, but it I, the only thing would be is that it leaves the film on your hands that you're going to need a lot of napkins with. But as far as the taste, everything that I said about the one that they served for lunch and dinner that they got wrong, this one they got right. I like the croissant better on this one. Uh, you get a decent amount of bacon, that uh, maple butter is excellent, and the chicken itself, uh, Wendy's chicken is not terrible, it's, it's a very good chicken, so that's why I gave it a 9.5. The Frosty Chino, the Frosty Chino gets a 9. Um, excellent drink, I, I feel like it's a unique drink, because if you, you you'd have to taste it. To, to know what I'm talking about, but it tastes just like a Frosty in coffee form, really. Um, just an excellent drink. Uh, I feel like you wouldn't be disappointed at all. Now to the breakfast Baconator, and oddly enough, I'm going to give this the lowest score, but I'm not going to give it that much lower than everything else. Breakfast Baconator, breakfast Baconator excuse me, when I can talk, it gets an 8.5. I think just the fact that the sausage kind of overwhelms everything, it, it, it's dependent on if you like sausage. And I'm not, I'm not adverse to sausage. Um, it, it's just a very prominent spice sausage flavor. The elements are all decent. Um, I think the bacon gets a little bit soggy with everything that's on there, which is a, l a little bit of a detriment, but. The Swiss cheese sauce is thick and it's good. Um, 
the egg is good, uh, the bacon's good. Everything is good, but I think just other elements in the sandwich overpower everything and it doesn't tie everything together as much as the croissant on your right. So collectively, for Wendy's breakfast, it would be a nine. If you add everything, divide by three, it's a nine. And it definitely deserves that score. Uh, very impressed with Wendy's breakfast, at least for these elements. Uh, might try that uh, honey butter chicken biscuit next time. But they have enough unique items that just, I think this is gonna be a big success for Wendy's. And I'm, I'm a breakfast fan. The only thing is you can not you can only get in breakfast hours, which is, theirs is until 11, I believe. But again, Wendy's breakfast, excellent on all counts. If you would like to view our other video food boxes or our scratching episodes, please click on the links on your screen. If you would like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the link on the center of your screen. If you would like to view our Twitter and Facebook pages, the links are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.